can a narrate overheats, but the real question is how fast. Let me show you my overheating test. As you can see here, it's 34 degrees Celsius. I forgot I can use viewfinder in video mode and this thermometer was way, way far from me. So this is the reason you barely can see it. And here you can see how I reset the time code in the camera. I decided to use time code as my stopwatch. And I'm sorry for this uh, weird uh, footage because I wasn't uh, even trying to film something decent because I was walking around and filming everything until my camera overheats. Here you can see a beautiful waterfront. I stopped recording for a few times because I was checking my exposure because I still didn't use to to shooting in uh, C log. And this is the moment why you're here. The camera is melting. So 22 minutes and camera is shutting down. Is it good? Is it bad? I, I don't know. You tell me. What happened next? So I turned my camera off, I went to the shade, I changed my battery to the cool one, I drank some water and it took me about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, only 2 bars on the overheating scale. And here we are, walking again and filming everything in 4K60. Why? Because we can. In 10 minutes I got bored again and there were 4 to 5 bars and I thought you'll get the pattern. If you have to shoot long takes longer than 20 minutes, you will have some problems. If you like me who shoots uh, short, uh, short clips, usually the longest takes I shoot is uh, 3 to 5 probably minutes. And usually I shoot in cooler conditions. So yes, yeah, this is it for today. If you have any questions about this camera, write it down below the like button and bye.